Hey everyone, today I'm going to go through my uh, plug, tunnel, and body jewelry collection. This is the container I keep everything in. I found this at Walmart in the beading section, and I believe you can also find it where you find the, um, like the sewing kits and whatnot. Um, I think the one in the sewing section is a different color, though. I want to say it's blue and like a light gray, but I liked the pink one. So I got the pink one, stuck a little sticker on it just to make it look a little different. Um, in this top container here, um, this is where I've got like little Ziploc bags and some of my little crafting tools because um, I do alter um, some of my old earrings to make them fit uh, into, I turn them into tug, uh, plugs or tunnels or whatever. Um, I'll also, um, I also create some of my own as well, uh, which I'll show you today. Uh, this also has, it has my Bot FX kit. Uh, I have it in the titanium black. This has all of the tapers and tunnels for my stretching journey. This kit goes all the way up to double zero. However, I stopped at zero, uh, which is eight millimeters. I felt like if I went to double zero, it might just be a little bit too big, and I just, I just didn't want to. I might later, but as of right now, I think I'm going to stick with the zero. Um, and then I also ordered from them their piercing aftercare uh, stick, the balm. So every time I change out my jewelry, I'll rub a little on my earlobe and on the jewelry that I'm putting in just to make everything uh, safer and a little cleaner because it does have good ingredients in it like co uh, coconut oil, calendula oil, jojoba oil, there's beeswax, lavender, tea tree oil, which is really good. So I have two of these. This one's my unopened one. Um, also in here because it doesn't fit in any of the drawers. A pair of earrings I had altered to fit some tunnels, which I believe I got these from, I want to say I got them from Spencer's. Yeah, Spencer's. I haven't worn them yet, but I probably will soon, just because, why not? Feathers are coming back, right? Right? Did they ever leave? Alright, so that's the top part. Nothing too exciting in there. And then when I open up this section, there are one, two, three, four different drawers. Um, and the top one, I have some more of my crafting supplies. These are all of the beads, flowers, and whatnot um, that I'm going to attach to some tunnels. Um, there's blank silver plates that I can attach things to and then dangle things from. I have some bicones. I have some Swarovski crystals. Some Swarovski crystals. Yes, those. Um, I've made some teeny tiny little dream catchers that I'll probably cover and put in some tunnels. These are a little bit big for me, but I might make them and either give them to my little cousin or maybe sell them. I don't know yet. And then I have... I have a ton of just plain stainless steel screw tunnels. These are what I prefer to use when I create uh, my own. I'll glue stuff to them, I'll dangle stuff from them, whatever I feel like doing. The second drawer does have my tug, uh, plugs and tunnels in them. I'll pull that out last just because it's going to take the longest. So we're going to skip down to the third one. This third one has all of my other body jewelry. So I have belly rings, this whole section over here, these are all belly rings. This was a bulk package of glow in the dark with different colors. There's blue, there's pink, purple, clear, neon, highlighter, yellow. They are all glow in the dark. Um, here I have my reverse dangle belly rings. So I have like a little sun. There's some little butterflies. I have this in three different colors. This is the clear one. I also have it in blue and pink. See, there's the pink one. And the blue one. And then I also have, this one's one of my favorite reverse dangles. He's a little gecko. A uh, pretty little blue stone. And then in this top one, these are the ones that aren't dangles, so I have like this flower is one of my favorites to wear. Um, I've got black, white, and gray looking disco ball 
type of one. Just some plain ones, nothing super fancy. Black ones I don't wear. My separator is moving. And then in the one next to that, if I can organize my stuff again. In this one up here, I have um, multicolored belly rings that all have little loops at the bottom so that I can create my own belly rings. Um, I do have one in here that I did make. See, I also have it purple. There's purple, blue, green, pink, Aurora Borealis. There's a bunch of different colors. The one next to that is the exact same, except these are all clear. This was a book pack of clear ones. And then below that are all of my dangles. So the one that I created is this one. If I can get it to stop. There's an anchor with an S for my initial and then a little red bicone crystal dangling from that. Um, my girlfriend, uh, hers is uh, the Eiffel Tower with her initial, which is a B, and I believe a purple bicone hanging from hers. And they, I put them all on the, the crystal. Uh, the clear crystal belly rings. I've got this one, which is a black anchor with skull and rhinestone. This one is massive and heavy, so I don't wear him very often, but he's pretty cool. Skull and crossbone with pink crystals. And then I have another anchor. You can tell I like anchors with a little clear crystal that hangs off the side there. I have another pink skull and crossbone with a cross. Playboy bunnies. I have the infinite love design. Here's a cute one. It's just crystal, flower, butterfly, and little raindrop. This, I think this is actually one of the first belly rings I ever purchased after getting pierced the first time. I've, I'm pierced twice, the top and the bottom. But this was uh, back in, like, just after high school. Like, no, was I in high school? I think I just graduated when I finally got my belly button pierced. But it's Happy Bunny, and he says, you're so dumb. He's unfortunately starting to discolor because he's so old, but I, I can't bear to get rid of him just because it's Happy Bunny and you don't find Happy Bunny anymore. All right, so next to those, moving on to this side, we have little curved barbells. I believe these are 18 gauge. They're super tiny. And I have them in a bunch of different colors. And then I have the same size, but with a larger, uh, yeah, a larger gauge rhinestone on the top. The, the larger ones are the ones that I wear. Um, I wear them on the bottom part of my belly ring, belly button, belly piercing, belly button. Yeah, that. Um, because the top part I wear, like the dangles and stuff, and then the bottom one, I'll just wear the little ones just because they don't, they don't get in the way. Otherwise, I've seen people wear, like they'll wear two of the regular ones, but they'll either have like the two balls inside their belly button together, which is just crowded to me, or they're turned it upside down. And then you've got this weird ball like sticking out from below your belly button. I just think it looks strange. So, um, cause I had the bottom done first because I had a lot of scar tissue on the top because I pierced it myself when I was a kid. I didn't think I was ever going to pierce the top, but I ended up doing it eventually. It took a while to heal cause of all the scar tissue, but I managed. Um, on the very end, these are all nipple rings, all different colors, nipple barbells, all different colors. And then over here, I have other nipple rings. I've got, these are all the little fancier ones. So I've got the vampire fangs. I have the skeleton hands, some arrows. And some plain barbells and then a little hanger. I don't really like these. I tend to like the straight barbells better. And then next to these, I have these two little containers. One of them are nose rings. 
they're just I've got just a I've got a loop in today but usually they're just plain little ball studs there might be some rhinestones in there I don't tend to wear anything fancy so those are just plain with the um, screw I don't like the bone or the L I don't like those at all this one's all labray the lip rings so they're all just the same as this one except they all have different colored rhinestones but this is the one I tend to wear most just plain silver ball I have my lip uh, retainers and then I have these ones these are I like the shape of them these are lip rings I like that it's straight on the bottom and then it comes and curves to the top so it would just hang over your lip it would hug it nicely however I they don't fit my lip and I think if I had been pierced in the center here they probably would have fit me nicely but over here they're just way too big so I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them just yet then I have some 14 karat gold nose rings that I do not wear because I don't wear yellow gold and then in the center I have I used to have dermals on my chest they have since rejected which I was told they would so I probably should have never gotten it done but it was fun while they lasted I had purchased a bunch of different colored dermal tops to exchange out I have two different sizes so again I don't really know what I'm gonna do with these now that I don't have my dermals so that's that container and then the bottom one so because I make my own jewelry and I have a second hole if I don't want to wear these are uh, skull and crossbone if I don't want to wear these I have a bunch of different colored just regular studs that I'll change out and I just have them in here just because it's easier for me when I do change out to something a little fancier and I do want to change them I also have like a little cuff for my cartilage piercing up here this one has stars on it and then I have this one too to make it look like there's what five five rhinestones but this one actually doesn't fit my ear anymore it did when I first got pierced but for whatever reason it just doesn't fit anymore and then I also have a couple of cuffs that are all tangled together I have one so you have the earring part that would go on the bottom and then it reaches up to cuff and this one is an anchor and oh surprise this one's also an anchor so there's your cuff and there's your earring so you have the steering wheel I don't remember what it's called don't judge me and the little anchor down there at the bottom nothing super fancy in there all right so back up to the plugs and tunnels All right. This is the fun part. All of my plugs and tunnels. Okay. So, starting up here in this top part, these are all my squishy little silicone tunnels. I'm wearing the clear ones just for the sake of the video so that I can show you all of the other ones I have. Um, so I have these in a bunch of different colors. There's white, black, blue, pink, purple, baby blue, red, this neon highlighter, yellow, I guess, yellow, green. Um, below that, I have more silicones. These are the silicones that I don't tend to wear just because they're larger and I don't like them as much. But I have it pink, black, and this god-awful white one, clear, white supposed to be clear it's not very clear but I hate the way that this one's made I don't like it at all and then up here um, this was a bulk pack of a bunch of different acrylics and I'll pull out all the different colors for you so you can see them there are translucent there are opaque and there are glittery ones Yeah, I think that's all of them. So I have two opaque colors. I have white, 
and I have black and white. And then there are translucents. There is pink. These are all double flared acrylics. This is supposed to be purple, but I feel like this is very pink still to me, like fuchsia, I guess, which is pinky purple, whatever. I have green, blue, and then this one's called smoky, but it's brown. Let's just put it out there. I'll probably never ever wear these. They're brown. And then they came with glittery ones. Uh, there is this interesting golden blue one then there's straight gold there's light blue there's green and then my favorite ones to wear are the purple and then next to those i have my slightly fancier ones these are all screw back so i have the clear rhinestones this one's the darker colored metal I also have it with the clear rhinestones with the silver, as well as the silver with the blue rhinestones. And then I have, these are screw back as well, stars. I wore these for the 4th of July, and I'll show you later the um, dangles that I made to wear with them. I also have, these are screw back as well, these are acrylic with rhinestones. And then these are double flared anchors. Double flared. And then on the end of the top row, I have, these were earrings that I really like that I turned into tunnels, or I guess at this point they're plugs, because you can't see through them. And then I had some leftover beads from a jewelry kit that I made a long time ago. So I threw them together and made a set of tunnels. These are technically tunnels. You can see through the backs of these. And these I like that these are kind of antique looking. I've only worn these once. I don't have a lot that these go with, but I really like the colors. All right, so then the next one, next row, the middle row, I have some plain stainless steel tunnels that have the screw backs. I have more of the silver. I have a couple that I have in here just because I don't want to put anything on them. I just want to have plain ones to wear. I also have them in the rainbow as well as in black. Next to that, we start my stones. Um, this first little box, they are all single flare with the O-rings attached. I think I've got them all. Oh, one set that's not, one set that's double flared. So I have one set that's double flared in there. This is the blue spot Jasper. And I also have it in the single flare with the O-ring. I have the, which this is called... Jade Adventuring, so it's jade green. I have Amethyst. I have blue turquoise. And I also have red turquoise. And then the next one, these are all stones as well, but these are, um, these are all double and single, except for one of them. So this is my double flared onyx. I also have single flare onyx. I have a single flare white jade, which I really like. They're not very opaque. They're kind of, what is that, translucent? Because they're not transparent. And then I have a white howlite double flared as well as a single flare. These are all pairs, by the way. I don't have any singles of anything. And then we get to some of my favorite stones in here. Let me get all these out. Okay, so in my single flare, I have 
double or yes single flare this is opalite and I have it in double flare as well and then this one's probably my ultimate favorite out of all of the stones this is the single flare this is called midnight goldstone you can hopefully see that there's almost like glitter in it so they're black with this really pretty shimmer to it and then this is the double flare in the midnight goldstone I love these I'm obsessed with them I've got like extra sets of those just in case I lose one and then in the last one in the middle row I have these white ones with like this black tribal design tunnels double flared tunnels and then I have these ones which I purchased at mo a good portion of these I purchased at uh, Spencer's however another so like half of them I probably purchased off of a, a website that I get bulk from so these are black filigree screw back tunnels which I like on their own however I added dangles to them just because I thought it made them look a little fancier and I, I wear these a lot when I dress up below that I have turquoise ones that I made with dangles so again there's that screw back tunnel that I turned into a plug and then we go to my additions that I've created so I have now all of these that I'm going to show you I can attach to either single flare or screw back tunnels or plugs so I have these ones that I these were Halloween earrings that I altered little skull and crossbones this is another pair of Halloween earrings that I altered I have a matching necklace and bangle bracelet that goes with this these are my Christmas snowflakes these are another pair of fancy ones that I like to dress up with these have uh, pearls as well as bicones bicone beads uh, I have some stars these are not the ones that I wore for the 4th of July those the stars that I wore for the 4th of July I actually made these were earrings I altered and then for my kitty cat Halloween costume I have fish bones now for all of the ones that I created I am actually going to kind of show you how they look when they're hanging on a tunnel so I'm gonna grab my silver rhinestone tunnel uh, these are my Valentine's Day set all of these ones that I'm showing you now I've cre I made all of these I also have matching necklaces for all of them and some of them I have bracelets for as well but these go with my Valentine's Day set and then I have my St. Patrick's Day which these will probably go really good with the jade here are the ones that I wore for the 4th of July if I can get them kind of untangled so these went on the stars so these were attached to these and what I like about having these as a separate attachment is I can either have them in front of the lobe or I can put the tunnel on and then put them in the back of the lobe before I screw the back on which usually I like wearing them from the back I think they look a little cooler I also have these which I think might look good with the light blue rhinestone tunnels I also have these are my handcuffs with red, white, and blue bicones. cones. 
and I also have these anchors again back to the anchors so there's these ones which are very very bright and then my final anchors I have in two different color choices I either have them with the blue bicone with the white pearl with a white rhinestone or I have them opposite with the white bicone with the blue pearl with the blue rhinestone and I have these are two different pairs and then in the lastly the very front part here I have the um, piercing aftercare stick that I'm currently using and then I have two sets of tunnels here in two different sizes I have my size and then I have a double zero because I'm in a wedding and one of the other bridesmaids who is also a friend of mine she has her ears stretched um, she did let them shrink but she might be stretching them back out before the wedding so if she does um, I'm in charge of all of the earrings for all of the bridesmaids so that everyone matches you have the girls with their regular ears pierced and then I'm going to alter them for mine and my friends so that we all look the same and no one can tell that our ears are stretched we won't get judged by the elder people that don't appreciate the tattoos and ear stretching although we're not covering our tattoos and I'm going to be going with colored hair just putting that out there the bride approves so I'm allowed to do it um, but anyway I guess that concludes my collection for now until I either make more stuff or buy more stuff but likely I'll be making more jewelry soon um, I hope you enjoyed I hope you weren't too bored I know it's been almost half an hour <laughs> I'm sorry um, but yeah let me know what you think give me a thumbs up any questions feel free to ask have a good day bye